Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mina, I'm a culinary school grad and a former professional cook. Today we have an easy crowd pleasing recipe. It's blueberry muffins. They're so easy to make. This is just a bunch of dry ingredients, a bunch of wet ingredients. You have all these ingredients already. It's just about the proportions and the ratios of everything. And I'm also gonna give you some ways at the end of the video to lower the calories a little bit because I've been noticing from the comments that for some reason, a lot of you are on this really, really strict diet or a really low calorie diet for some reason. I don't know why, but if you are, I will give you ways at the end of the video to lower the calories a little bit. As you know, I try to find that balance between taste, texture, and macros. Those are really important to me because I would rather have food that's sustainable and we could just keep on making and just keep eating for a longer period of time rather than having to force yourself to eat the food and having to convince yourself, this is a good replacement, eat this because it's good for you. No, I want you to eat it because it actually tastes good, not just because it's good for you and it's got good macros. You're not gonna be able to keep that up for so long. With all that being said, let's get into the recipe. So for today's recipe, I am using casein and whey. I'm using a little blend of both and I really like having the two separate because I can choose however much I wanna use in each recipe and as you know, some of my recipes, I don't even use whey. I just use casein. I like casein a lot in baking. This works really well in baking. And if you use code MINA, you'll save yourself 20% off, not only casein, but anything else on the website. So as usual, you wanna start out by mixing all the dry ingredients together. And if you wanna do this ahead of time, you can just pre-mix all the dry ingredients and just have a muffin mix. And then you can add all the wet ingredients when you're ready to bake the muffins. For the sweetener, I always use volume measurements for the sweetener because that's how it's usually measured on the back of the package. They'll tell you that it's a one-to-one -one by volume, not by weight. So I like to be accurate in that way just to make sure that I'm following their directions. And it, this is a new sweetener that I've never tried before so we'll see how it turns out so I tried this recipe two ways with half a cup and a whole cup of the blueberries and I prefer the half a cup the whole cup was just a bit too much and if you like blueberries obviously just put some more it's not that big of a deal Make sure to spray these liners very, very well with non-stick spray. This batter will stick and it will stick especially to the sides and it's a horrible experience. So please avoid that. Here's where we're gonna use the real sugar. It's gonna go on top of the muffin and it's just gonna give you a much better muffin top. You can see the ones on the right bottom here. They're the ones with sugar. The ones on the top left are the ones without sugar and you can see the difference. light yeah I think that's better so you saw what it looks like on the inside it's pretty close to an actual muffin and the sugar on top really makes a difference I think that is a game changer and I'm gonna be using that from now on I really like the crispy edges oh tastes like a vanilla cake with blueberries and the sweetener isn't that bad actually not bad so this was a sweetener that I used the reason that I put the oven on 325 I would normally have it at like 350 or 375 I was reading the back of this thing and it's got some baking tips and one of the baking tips to reduce the oven temperature by 25 degrees the last thing that you want with protein baked things is to overcook them. That is literally the last thing that you want. You always want to err on the undercooked side rather than the overcooked side. You can always recover from something that's undercooked. You can bake it again. You can put it in a toaster. You can fry it. There's a lot of ways to recover from something that's undercooked, but once you overcook it, there is no coming back from that. So always err on the undercooked side of things, especially especially when it comes to protein baking. I am sure that you've experienced something so dry with protein powder that it just gets stuck right here and you're just gasping for water and it, you just don't want that. Just go on the undercooked side always and have a little bit of fat. That's always my tip is have a little bit of fat 
A yolk goes a long way in a recipe. Like I say, do not underestimate the power of a yolk. A yolk has power. Ways that you could reduce the calories on this. Use a lower calorie milk. So I'm using 2% milk here. It's got more calories than your nut milks or your fat-free milk. So use a nut milk or use a fat-free milk if you want to lower calories. The second thing is the butter. You can use a light butter as opposed to real butter. It will make a bit of a difference, but I don't think it's that huge of a deal. So if you have light butter and you would rather use that to save on the calories, go with the light butter, not a big deal. And if you absolutely must, if you really, really truly must, and you cannot afford the 60 or so calories that come from a yolk, you could replace that with egg whites, but just know that it's going to lead to a more rubbery texture rather than a crumbly or one. That's what fat does. All right, I think I've talked for long enough. Go out there and make yourself some muffins. These keep really well too, if you wanna eat them for breakfast or if you wanna eat them for a snack, they're really good. Oh, let's talk about the macros. So the macros for these, according to my fitness pal, is 138 calories with 11.2 grams of protein. I'll have all the full list of the ingredients, what I put into my fitness pal, just so you can have an idea of how I put these recipes into my fitness pal. I'm good with the macros on this because again, I am shooting for a balance between macros, texture, and taste. I want a more sustainable food that I can eat for the foreseeable future. This is not a short-term solution. I'm looking for long-term foods and you should be too. You should be looking for sustainable diets, not just something that you can do for a few months and give up on because it was way too hard and you want to eat real food. That's the end of my rant. If you want to see all the behind the scenes stuff and if you want to vote on videos, make sure to follow Instagram. I post a lot of stuff on there and there's a lot of exclusive content on there that is not on YouTube. And I don't think I'm going to bring it to YouTube because it's like more Instagram ish content, not YouTube content. So follow there if you want to see some of that and tag me on Instagram as well. If you make this recipe or if you make any of my recipes as usual, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.